Hello everyone and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 1.12 where I've decided to release a version of my Mars Settlement Domes for use with Kerbal Constructs. They'll be usable in any version of Kerbal Space Program. You just place them where you want them. It won't all be one piece and so I'll show you the placement. We'll take out a rover and then I'll show you how to place them. Uh, but I've decided not to make it all one piece so that people can use it in more situations and it's not tied to that Mars terrain that'll make it inconvenient in some ways but uh, more usable potentially and I've edited the particular modules. The total size unzipped is about 112 megabytes and it'll include four types of domes, one greenhouse, uh, solar array thing, and then a set of ramps and stairs. A set of ramp and... okay, a ramp and a set of stairs. There we go. Kerbal Constructs only works in flight mode, and so you have to be at the location with a vehicle. That's one of the inconveniences of the whole thing. So, in order to prepare for use of these parts for roleplay or whatever, you're going to first have to land at the location and then do Control K to plop the thing. And so here we have the local instances that are already here, and then we go Spawn New. The category is Settlement. Or you could probably type in some partial thing and it'll come up with it. So those are the eight parts that we're talking about. Uh, four types of domes, a greenhouse, a ramp, solar farm, and stairs. Those are small ones. They don't go up very high, so keep that in mind. Uh, so I've tried to indicate the size of the things. These are radiuses, not diameters. So that's a 100 meter diameter dome. And this is 64 meter diameter. And then the greenhouse is 48 meters by 90 meters. This is to help you place them, otherwise, well, it's still gotta be annoying. Anyway, uh, so let's try to place some of these. Let me uh, put one of these, not right on top of them, otherwise when we enable colliders, it will kill them. <laughs> so uh, that's not good. Uh, because you might be placing these on uneven ground, that's why I made the terrain in the first place, so that there's an even ground to uh, put stuff on. And while well, the Space Center is very nice with even ground because it's made that way, it's sort of a flattened area for the Space Center, on a random location on another planet it's not going to be so flat. Uh, so we have this buffer area down here which is sort of like rockish texture. Um, that's meant to be hidden. That's only like for emergencies in case you don't want to clip the ground. But ideally if you're on flat ground it should all be like this. And then there's a uh, green grass interior and then four airlocks for each module. And if it was perfectly level ground, they would uh, the airlocks would all sit flat, but they might not be perfectly level. So, but I think that's just a shadow being cast. So then you place it, and this one is empty, but not all of them are empty. The the ones that are uh, flat, this is one of the flat ones. Those are empty, and you can put stuff in there, and we'll talk about that in a sec. Uh, but we enable colliders and save and close, and then so let's have one of the tall ones. The biggest one is this one and you can see there's objects inside of it. They're just box colliders right now. I don't know why it likes to make the box colliders yellow, but those will disappear. Those are just the colliders. And I'll try to line it up with this one, but uh, I haven't jotted down the numbers or anything. That would be a good way of doing it. Uh, knowing the dimensions, maybe that could help, but uh, I'll try to eyeball it, and then we'll see how far off it is. So you don't have to link the modules together, but that might be a thing you want to do, so here we go. Doesn't quite get to where I want it to go. Let's say that's close enough. And I hope the two sets don't actually kill each other uh, when I enable colliders. Uh, the solar farm is like this, and it also has a buffer area. If you take a look at the colliders, they're just a simple box colliders. There's a collider on top and a collider on the bottom. The collider on the bottom is the buffer one, and so really it should be set so that only the top collider there is above ground, and that's the ideal thing because that's actually the height of the ramp or stairs for them to go up. The reason we have ramp or stairs is so that when you have the little buffer at the bottom, it, otherwise maybe the Kerbals can't reach the airlock and so you can spawn one of those 
in order to so uh, let's say ramp so this is it's a very small ramp but there it is and it's collider what they'll walk up is just a triangle basically and even the stairs are like that they're not actually going to have to walk up stairs but just in case stuff is not level on the ground you can set this up that obviously would be less than ideal <laughs> so I mean we don't need that much of a ramp here so I'll just delete this instance okay and then there's also the greenhouse the greenhouse is the biggest in terms of size all of this stuff is 121 megabytes when unzipped the greenhouse is the biggest of the sides because it's got the plants inside uh, some of the plants and I put in there already and there's plenty of room for your own plants I haven't included plants in the pack yet because I'm still working on that resource sort of idea so this is how it is it's called the mod is going to be called pass through light and that's because it's sort of an extension of my pass through system because the Kerbals can go through it uh, it's light because it's sharing a lot of textures with stuff and so hopefully we can reduce that size the main uh, main cost in terms of size and therefore RAM is the textures the models are actually pretty mild the model for the greenhouse is the biggest one and it's 10 megabytes okay well I'm gonna try and have that like that it seems like the colliders don't interfere with each other and don't interfere with the ground, we'll see. Let's head out there. Let's just save all these. So you have to be in fairly close proximity with the flight. The, cur the curls don't have to be on the flight. You can just use a probe if you want to. But to check things out, you might want to have the curls around so that you check it out. So you can put other modules in other Kerbal Constructs things. You could turn parts like say the USI base parts into Kerbal Constructs things but a um, cleverer thing to do would be to actually make as we bump into there okay just checking the collider uh, would be to just increase the size of the Kerbal inventory tremendously so that they can carry the Kerbal Constructs things this is just to set up the situation not to actually uh, do this during gameplay per se uh, but let me see okay it does get refilled all right um, while you're setting up what you want in there to have the Kerbals have this huge inventory with a huge maximum mass just go into uh, Kerbal inventory system give them the huge capacity and then let them carry the modules inside I haven't tried this yet but it's just something I'm thinking about and then place the USI modules or whatever in there then the modules in theory would be functional I think and if they're functional that would be nice if you use them as Kerbal Constructs parts I don't think they'll be functional this is a little bit higher up here everything looking okay so far I've had lots of trouble with these you know lining things up okay the, there's no collider on the door but there is on the side of it uh, I very much tried to get the grass to look right, <laughs> uh, to not be in here. I did not want the grass in here, but, um, well, the grass ended up in there. Okay, let me run to this side. So this is the inside of the dome. Do not have your Kerbals take off their helmets inside the dome unless they're on Kerbin, which, why are you putting dome on Kerbin anyway, unless you're just showing it off like I'm doing now. Uh, because the game has no way of determining that this is an inside area so they'll just die probably uh, uh, okay okay here there's no grass that's good okay uh, that's the airlock between modules this I don't I uh, I guess the the foundation is impinging a little bit I'll try and fix that uh, there's a lot of that sort of thing. Okay, the lighting isn't great right now. 
just the, the clouds that are in the way. I probably shouldn't have gone with volumetric clouds just yet. Uh, so for these doors here, right now there's no collider on that part, but there is a collider on the building, so they're not going to walk very far in. Uh, so as you can see, that's to allow for later on, I might put interiors on a couple of them, but then I'll seal up the rest. So that's a work in progress. I also intend to put right, windows on this stuff, so these will be a little bit better. Uh, and maybe I'll make them into, if, if I give one an interior, I'll make that into a separate part, a separate Kerbal Constructs thing. And that'll be placeable, so if people want to place that themselves, they can. Let me just walk on over to the greenhouse. So far, I think everything's okay. Um, minor things, maybe. Oh, that door is a little bit off, isn't it? Oh. Let's see, I have no idea sometimes how... Let me just take a closer look. Yeah, that one's shifted down. I literally just copy these things over and over, but... Sometimes... <laughs> oh, it doesn't look shifted down in... Blender. <laughs> uh, that's weird. Definitely looks shifted down here. Well, okay. So, we'll just, uh, I'll try my best with whatever is going on there. And I'll try and figure out what's going on with that little bit of foundation impinging, or the wall impinging on the module there. And let's go over to greenhouse. Now, tell me what you think about the grass texture. Uh, maybe you want something different. But I figure inside the domes it should be more natural because they'll want that sort of thing. There's a little bit of a gap at the top here too. I don't know. Okay, this one at least doesn't have any grass or anything in here. Good. But this, uh, the grass, the grass in the greenhouse side is too tall. Ah. Uh, Okay, so we have some plants, so I'll also shift the grass down on this side and make sure that there's no uh, no big gap there. Uh, okay, so anyway, there you have it. Those are the placeables. You can have the solar rays and there's two other domes that we haven't walked through that might have minor issues, but that's the idea. So if there are issues, go ahead and tell me. Uh, the GitHub link will be in the video description and it'll be called Pass Through Light. Uh, you can leave comments on the GitHub or in the YouTube comments uh, to tell me if there's stuff that I need to fix, which there probably will be. These are big things. So anyway, uh, for now, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time.